Guess what? Today was the first day in almost two years that I came to school without a mask. Finally, I am so happy that they finally listened and I don't have to wear this anymore. Don't want to get too much into this because censorship is crazy on YouTube. Anyways, I got freedom in school now. In almost two years. I was for sure happy about it. And there were many students in the school that didn't have their mask on today. Including a couple in my class. And I was one of them. Don't want to get too much into this because YouTube will take this down for censorship. We all know. If you watch Frozen, you've probably heard of this song the first time in forever. And to tweet that up in the first time in forever, I can go, I can be in school without. this This is the day that me and a lot of you have been waiting for in Fairfax County, especially other kids that have special needs. And some of them are in my school. Like, thank you, Glenn Yunkin, for listening to us, and now I have freedom.
now school is better about these things. Don't want to get too much into this. These things were very uncomfortable for me. Eight hours a day, very uncomfortable, very hot, and uncomfortable. But, I carry one in my pocket because on the bus I still have to wear it, which is stupid. I was jumping for joy. Yep. And it's a new month, which means... I'm going to have to worry about yet another fire drill. Man, I cannot wait until the last fire drill of this school year. I mean... The thing I dreaded about school all these years was these fire drills. Yeah, I know we need these fire drills... For safety, so we can be prepared just in case there is a real fire in the school. I 100% get that, but not to the point where it scares students with special needs or blows out people's eardrums. And these drills waste morning time for no reason. I mean, only pull the alarm if there is a real fire. Do not pull the alarm once a month for a drill anymore. In preschool and in elementary school, these drills are very important because it teaches younger kids what to do when there is a fire in the school not to go all crazy when the fire alarm gets pulled we all know that but once we get up to middle school in high school Once we get up to middle school and high school, we need to stop with all these fire drills because we already know what to do when there is a fire in the school because of all the practice we did in preschool and in elementary school.
and we exactly know what to do as soon as the fire alarm gets pulled. So you need to quit pulling the alarm once a month for a drill. Because we already know what to do when there's a fire and the alarm is pulled. If there's a fire and the alarm gets pulled, we will exactly know what to do without even one drill. Like, quit pulling down the fire alarms and making our school day miserable for no reason, all because it's just a drill. A couple of times when I was in this school, the alarms went off when students were eating lunch. Are you serious? That is absolutely rude. You choose lunch periods to pull the fire alarms for a drill. Like, come on. You took away lunch time for no reason. And chat time for no reason. All because of some drill. I mean... If you are in the bathroom and then the fire alarm goes off. If you are in the bathroom and then all of a sudden that alarm goes off. Well, you are going to be disgusting for no reason. All because of some drill. Like, come on. Like, I'm really scared of being in the bathroom and then they pull the alarm when I'm in the bathroom. Don't do that. I mean, another bad time fire drills happen is when it's in sub-zero temperatures. And if they pull the alarm in that, you are freezing to death for no reason. All because of some drill. Like, come on. Wait until a warmer day to do the drills. I mean, God... And in elementary school, students pulled the alarm in my elementary school for fun because they thought it was a good idea to pull it. But, oh, they learned their lesson the hard way. It is not a good idea to pull that alarm without a fire. Oh my goodness, only pull these if there is a real fire. Or if you have permission to pull this for a fire drill. Or if you have permission to pull this for a system test. Or if you have this in your house that doesn't contact the fire department. Other than that, do not pull these things. In my elementary school, there were some kids that would pull the fire alarm. There was a lot of tampering with the 
pole stations in that building. Because... Kids were crazy. My elementary school had a lot of troublemakers. And some and a couple of them will set the and, and a couple of them did set and a couple of them did set the alarm off. Probably your elementary school had troublemakers that did the same thing that the kids in my school did when we were when we were younger. Even though you didn't go to the same school as me, anyone that went to the same school as me um, experienced this. And if you went to a different school, you might as well ha have had that happen. Yep, elementary school students are troublemakers when it, and they don't know better that it's not a good idea to pull fire alarms for fun. I mean, if you pull the alarm in high school, you're definitely going to get arrested because this is because it is not a toy. If you pull the fire alarm at school, you are going to get suspended, expelled, and you are going to get arrested. Maybe. Maybe. And you are going to get grounded by your parents if you do that. This is serious. Do not mess with fire alarms in schools. And also, another thing... ...that you shouldn't do in schools is go into the closet. That was brought up by one of my classmates. I mean, I mean, don't want to get into trouble. So, do not break the school rules. Bye.